Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Live in Color with me, Raven Danielle. And today we are going to be talking about temperance. Yes, temperance. What is temperance? It is self-control. It is something that we all need and it is something that we all use to an extent each and every day in our lives. We have to control what we eat, where we go, what we do. So the big question is, do you have self-control? Are you controlling what you do? Because sometimes temperance or self-control is not just about controlling yourself if you're in an argument so that you stop yelling. Sometimes self-control or temperance is just controlling what you eat. Should you eat that bad thing? Is it going to make you sick? Should you be watching that TV show because you know that it's going to be cussing and having all types of scenes and you don't want to let that into your spirit? It's literally controlling the things that you do, but we have to base it on the word of God. We have to be able to have self-control so that we can take in more of him. Now, Temperance comes from the Latin word temporare or temporare, I'm not really sure how to say it, but it means to restrain. Can you restrain yourself? Okay, so here I have a scripture for you. It's a little longer than my other scriptures, but I really want to read it from you for you. And it comes from 2 Peter 1, and I'm going to start at verse 3. And it says, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So I know that that scripture says a whole lot. But basically, in a nutshell, what it's saying is if we want to partake in the things of God, we have to push forth those fruits and those things that he wants us to do. And temperance is one of them. Yes, there were many things that they said, but I want to focus on temperance. Temperance is one of them. We need self-control as Christians, as people of God, as followers of Christ. We need self-control. What does it look like if we're just all over the place doing whatever we want to do to the rest of the world? I'm just going to eat what I want to eat. I'm just going to go where I want to go. I'm just going to do whatever I want to do. That's not self-control. That's not temperance. And when the world sees that, they're just like, um, excuse me, why would I become a Christian and why would I follow Christ? Because you're doing the same things that I'm doing, so I might as well just stay in my same state. We need temperance to make sure that we are following the things of Christ. And if you listen, it says if you follow these things, if you have the virtue and temperance and, and godliness, that you will never be barren with knowledge of God. Meaning, you will always have the knowledge of God. You will always be wise. You will always know of his ways. And you'll be able to help others and push others forward. But if we don't carry these things, it's like a person who is partially blind. They can't really see afar off. I'm sorry, that's my, my little puppy Bentley. They can't see afar off. 
So when they can't see afar off, they can't see the things that are coming because they lack these things that God wants us to have. So please work on your temperance. And if you have to do it little by little, do it little by little. Let's just take an example. In fact, let's use me. I love fried shrimp. Okay, there's this place here in my town that makes this fried shrimp and it is amazing. And sorry for the uh, little doggy toy, but you're gonna just hear the dog in the background. So this fried shrimp, I was eating it like all the time. First of all, I don't feel good after I eat it, okay? Um, secondly, it's just not good to eat fried stuff all the time. And I was just always going, oh, I want it for lunch, oh, I want it for dinner, oh, I want it for this. I had to learn self-control and say, pull it in, girl, stop eating that. Eat a salad, eat something else, do something else. Do that with your food, do it with your TV shows, do it with what you wear, do it with where you go, do it with who you speak with. We need self-control. So remember, temperance is the way to go because temperance gives us knowledge in Christ, it gets us closer to God, and it gets us to where we need to be. Self-control. I love you beautiful people. Thank you for visiting my channel and I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. I love you.